the place in crypto gaming that I am excited about the most and is probably the most slept on in the entire crypto gaming space has to be mobile games. These are the games that you're going to get out there and while you're on the subway, you're going to be playing. The games that have the most robust economies and the most users playing them historically as mobile games continue to eat up market share in the entirety of the gaming industry. Today, I'm going to be breaking down once again the top 10 crypto mobile games that I am looking at for January of 2024 to probably next month as well. I hope you all enjoy this kind of, kind of content. We're breaking it down from the ground up. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first one I want to talk about is the one I'm most excited about for this month specifically. It's called Compete. They have a Compete token. It's 26 million market cap. But the reason I wanted to show it off is not because of their token, right? It's because of their gameplay. I think in terms of the crypto gaming space, the one I've had the most fun this month specifically has to be Compete's game. I tried it out yesterday. The team went ahead and explained some of the concepts for the game. And I won a bunch of games. Uh, this is a Battle Royale game. It's also got Metaverse features, as you can see here, with a go-kart mini game. But the one that excited me the most was the Trio Blitz Royales, where you could go ahead, chat with your buddies, and uh, try to destroy the enemy. There was this really cool feature in the game called Redemption, where whenever you would die, you would go ahead and respawn as long as one of your teammates was up. So we had these really fun loops where you'd go ahead, you'd get, die, and then you'd spawn again, and one of your teammates would hide in a corner and then you'd spawn again and again and again and again and just try to ax people over and over. And it was like the most fun thing in the world. That's why I ended up putting Compete on the first slot. Uh, in terms of utility, they have this ticket system where it's kind of like a battle pass for any traditional game. You buy it, you get these NFTs. They've got different rarities for them as you play the game. And the Compete token, which I don't have any concrete use case for what it's actually used for yet, but it does have a pretty high market cap and it's been doing pretty damn well. So that's Compete. For you. The second game is Eternal Paradox. It's the game that in the Gala ecosystem I'm most excited for right now. It is a grand strategy game. If you've never played games like Lords Mobile before, you essentially have a castle. You have a guild that you work together with to try to dominate the middle, which in this case are the rings. If you dominate the rings, then you're just dominating the entire sphere. There are also really cool components on Eternal Paradox, like gathering resources in specific land plots to go ahead and earn more points and earn a distribution of what they call uh, Eternal Paradox's time token. So I think there's cool little concepts here that should be further explored. I'm really hoping that Gala doesn't fumble this one too, uh, because it's a really good game developed by a Korean mobile studio. But that's Eternal Paradox. So before we get into the next one, we are going to go ahead and showcase a sponsor on the channel. This post is actually brought to you by a really good sponsor. I mean, this is a good mobile gaming studio and one of the most hyped mints for January 2024. So if you're trying to get some deets right now on some really hot stuff, well, <laughs> look no further than Play Ember, a mobile game studio with over 120 million downloads. Over 5 million monthly active users, the number three in blockchain gaming for DAP Radar, and just so much, so much backing in their industry. They are doing hyper casual mobile games, spamming them out, making hit games. Right now, they have the play to whitelist going on, which <laughs> this MB list is really oversubscribed. There are a lot of people that are trying to compete for this, but if you think that you've got the hux for this, for a limited time, you can earn flames by completing daily tasks while playing Raft Life and Hypercards for a chance at acquiring an Embula. So if you're trying to get the big bucks, trying to get into some of the hottest plays in mobile crypto gaming, then uh, get, you, get you a little bit of an MB list and check out Play Ember on Twitter today. So let's get back into it. So Wagme Games is the next game on this list. The reason I wanted to mention them, we talked about them last video, is that they're going to have a revamp of the art on Wagme Games. I think it's really cool that they're doing this because if you're looking at it right now, it's not the most visually appealing game in the world. When we put it on our list last time, wasn't the most hype. This is a game on Immutable. They have a token, which actually just got a brand new catalyst 
literally today, BitGet is officially going to be listing the WagMe Games token. You know, they've got with over 20 million users and an official partnership with Lionel Messi, BitGet is a big, big exchange. Now here's a bit of an update on some of the models that WagMe Games is pushing out. Uh, the WagMe Games token is used for governance, it's used for wagering, it's used for pretty much everything within the WagMe Games ecosystem. And uh, WagMe Tower Defense, just one of many juicy little games next one is cypher now play cypher remember this is twitter so the quality is going to be a little bit off here i played this game myself and i can vouch for this game when i say that it is a good crypto mobile game a very good crypto mobile game it reminds you of those roguelike dungeon crawlers where you have quests that you hop onto and try to dominate your opponents once you dominate these little npcs and complete the task then you get upgrades which you know you can upgrade your character and do harder dungeons and there so and there on right you have these different Cypherians, uh, which are the characters within the game and avatars, which of course progress over time. I played the game, it has a solid loop. They have a token right now. It's at a $56 million valuation. They also have an NFT collection for the actual Cypher Inus, which right now is at 0.11 Ethereum. So uh, with a crypto game that is coming up very, very soon, obviously there's going to be a lot of interest on Cypherian and their game. So the next one is Honeyland. Now, Honeyland caught my attention because of the Solana narrative. If you didn't know, right now, there is a huge narrative on Solana phones. And like, I got three of these little babies. So trust me, I understand when something in the crypto mobile gaming space comes up, I am going to know about this. Now, Honeyland is apparently, you know, according to Hustlepedia, one of the most sustainable crypto gaming ecosystems in the entire space. Now, do I agree with it? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But all I do know is that they gave us $50 worth of this little Honeyland token or their sagas, and a lot of people are beginning to talk about Honeyland. So the economy's kind of had its ups and downs in terms of gameplay. You're going to see it's got a little bit of an auto battler thing going on. You can go ahead and mine and play these little mini games for extra Honeyland. I don't understand it too much, but I do know there's a lot of interest in it, so you should probably go ahead and check it out. The next one is Gas Hero. Now, if you've ever heard of Step N, Step N was this, you know, app where you could go ahead, walk, be rewarded for walking. People made a ton of money off that. People actually got healthy off of it, which to be honest, I probably should have played a Step N just a little bit more, but they've gone ahead and announced Gas Hero. Now, Gas Hero is a brand new game. Uh, you can see it's got a little bit of the auto battler vibes as well, which if these mobile gaming studios are listening, please stop releasing more auto battler games. I swear, there's too many of these right now. But you've got that energy system. You battle with these creatures. You get the little GMT token. You can buy these little avatars, which get more. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. This game is very early on still. So if you're trying to get into a game extremely early, a gas hero is going to be that one. So the next game is Medicine. Uh, the reason that I'm talking about Medicine today is because I actually saw a post by Elisa. So if Medicine is seeing this then shout out to elisa right here but they went ahead and started a giveaway for these little cc cubes i looked into these a little bit more and you could stake the cc tokens to receive mud mac and rare trait nfts now i looked at the gameplay here uh, on her mobile game phone right and this looks really good i mean this is one of those genshin impact copies kind of where it looks absolutely beautiful. It's one of those Asian-centric games that you know and love in the mobile gaming space. And them tapping into crypto, I think it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure this game is very under the radar still. So if you're getting into this, it's still really early. I'm guessing these little CC cubes are going to be coming out very soon. It's their latest NFT collection. This was back in January 7th. And so if you can get into this, then congratulations. I'll try my best to get some of these whitelist spots. But that is Metascene for you. The next one is Pixels. You're going to be a little bit confused on this one. I know what you're going to say. I play Pixels online on my computer, but Pixels is actually a browser-based game. So while you're not actually downloading it on the App Store, you are still able to play this on your browser. So if you get onto your MetaMask browser, you can play Pixels online right now. They went ahead and announced the Pixel token back in January 5th. This is a massive thing because they're pretty much the biggest game in the Ronin network, the biggest crypto gaming network on the planet right now. They recently announced, so this is alpha for you right now, 
that the play to airdrop, which they're doing right now, ends Friday. So if you're looking at this video right now, you may have missed it. You may have missed it. But Pixels Online is one of the hottest games in the crypto gaming space right now. It's a farming simulator. It's a metaverse. You get land plots. You farm chickens. You do all kinds of stuff to earn yourself the juicy berry tokens, which are the utility coins for the ecosystems, as you can see right there. But I mean, if you're getting into this play to airdrop, which you can look at the thread right here, if you want to go ahead and check it out, uh, the pixel token is obviously going to be much more hyped than the berry token. So you can earn points by doing things like owning the NFTs, completing quests, earning badges, climbing the leaderboards, referring new friends, all kinds of stuff to promote the pixel ecosystem. And this is one you're not going to want to miss. Now, the next one is actually Matrix Fire. The reason I actually found this one was because I'm, I got invited to this crypto gaming space, right? And I saw this right here that they were talking about Matrix. I didn't really care, right? I just joined the space and it was fun. But as I talked to their co-founder, right, Madeira here, uh, he was very passionate about the space and he understood a lot of the key metrics that are important in making these crypto games work. And so if you look into their Web3 component, you know, they've got this fire token they've got these unlocks you know fire is the core token for play to own in matrix fire and they have versatile utility across most scenarios we've got all these different things about it uh, but the main reason i wanted to showcase it is because it reminds me a lot of valorant but on mobile i mean look at this gameplay right here it's, it's literally just valorant on mobile and valorant is an absolute killer game so bringing this to the crypto gaming space, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to be very hyped for this. I think they have some sort of event happening for people that play this game. Uh, obviously, I want to get my hands on this game as well. So that's Matrix Fire. I assume it's going to be probably one of the more hyped crypto gaming mobile games that happen in this year. So you're probably going to want to do some research. And the last crypto mobile game I want to talk about today is Fableborn. Because of an announcement they did two days ago, as you can see, January 15th, they put this little thing, okay? And what does that mean? Well, that means that they're doing an airdrop. <laughs> and we love airdrops on this channel. Airdrops is how you make the money in crypto gaming. Now, if you look at the gameplay on Fableborn, this is a lot like Clash of Clans, where you have your base, you assemble it, you level up your heroes, the troops that you have, you try to defend it. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and get loot, you have to kill the enemy bases and loot the loot, right? Fableborn, it's a free-to-play base-building ARPG. And with an airdrop coming, you know, you got to go ahead and get into it. So let me know your thoughts on my top 10 crypto gaming picks. Do you agree? Would you have rather seen another mobile game? I mean, you could never be right. You could never be wrong. Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Stay classy. And that's all.